Good morning everyone on this bright and sunny what what is today? Wednesday. Today finally we woke up with no rain, but I got her all snuggled up because uh, my sister needed me to go take her to school, but then I was left with no cars to take her because Rigo took our car to work and um yeah, there was no other car for me to take her so we had to call my sister that had one of the cars to come get her anyway um so i did end up going out but today is my very first day taking care of her brand new little puppy like my sister my youngest sister got a little dog and um the only reason my mom like allowed her to get the little dog um, was because I told her that I was going to help my sister take care of the dog during the day while she was off at school because that was my mom's main concern like who's gonna take care of the dog during the day like we can't let it be by itself one because it's really little still and two because it'll just poop and shit I mean pee and poop like in its cage and if it's really like loose just poop and pee everywhere and my mom obviously doesn't want that so I was like you know what I'm home all day with my daughter like I can help you if you really want the little dog I can help you take care of it during the day while you're at school and yeah sure enough she got it and he's here and yesterday when he got here um, my daughter's reaction was so like adorable and funny so I'll put those clips in here Hello. here's Come on, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 no. Solo pates. Oh, buddy. Come on. Corre, man. Corre. No, I don't want. Don't call me. Ay, oh, girl. girl. <laughs> I want him to run after you. with him but I do get allergic to some types of dogs and I thought I wasn't gonna get like an allergic reaction to him but I did get itchy on the places that I touched him so but it wasn't too bad but what are you, what are you gonna do um, so I'm going to make some breakfast for my daughter because it is early it's early we just woke up as you could tell and she's hungry, so yes. Guys, it's a little later. I know I look kind of funky with this, but it's because it's cold to protect my ears. But I came back here because I need a shovel, um, raking up some leaves. 
but check this out. I don't know if you guys can see the little sanjas that are over there. These are the little sanjas. This whole cuadro is going to be a room lifted and it's going to be added to the garage. And that's going to be my restroom and my kitchen and then my walk-in closet. Like, you know how it's really big? That's going to be my new living room area and then my bedroom. So I'm officially going to be having my own tiny little house um, back here, which is kind of amazing. So I'm excited for that. Okay, here are my piles. Time to pick them up. Okay, now that that's done, um, it's time to make my daughter some breakfast. I decided I wanted to take her out yesterday because, I mean, today, right now, I decided to take her out because we've been stuck inside for numerous of days already due to the rain, and um, she's been wanting to go outside. Oh, yeah. And it's just been too cold and too wet. And today was like the first sunny day since it started raining. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage and I can take her out. But while I was out there, I was freezing my ass off. And I was like, mm, I kind of want to go inside already. But I saw she was having fun. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to suck it up. And I'm going to do something so that she can like be out here. And pull it. The cement looked really ugly because it was it had a whole bunch of leaves. So I was like, I'm just gonna rake these up because I'm cold, and because I thought of doing something nice. So breakfast for breakfast, I'm going to make her this little sopita mexicana, and it's sabor de pollo with rice 
and it has carrot bits in it and she's already had these and she's loved them but I'm going to put potatoes in there just to give it a little bit more like make it more because it's just like rice and carrots so I'm going to put potatoes in there and yeah let me do that real quick I'm still waiting on for the potatoes to finish cooking a little bit. Meanwhile, while we wait, I decided to take out peppers to see if he was thirsty or hungry, which he was. So that's good. I just gotta make sure that when he's finished eating, I give him some time to like run around, stretch his legs because he's been sleeping so far. Um, make sure he goes pee and poop before I put him back in his cage so he can continue napping. Hold on, hold on, bud. There you go. Hey, 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 hey! I do, I do, I do, I do, I do! I do. Good job. I oh, para te, mama. <laughs> <laughs> what is this little put on these hairs? How do you guys take your coffee? So I'm gonna use this tacita de la princess house, pero con cuidado porque si se me quebra la señora, la dueña de la casa, me va a poder vida. I'm gonna use some instant coffee. I'm gonna make my coffee a little dark because like I said. I'm not having regular bowel movements. So, strong coffee it is. Let's do another little mix. That may be a lot, actually. We'll see. Usually, I don't really like to add sugar. I'm just going to add a little bit of creamer. But we'll see. We shall see, we shall see. By the way, I wasn't going to take this whole cup of fiber. I was just going to do like this much. Oh, the baby's crying. Baby needs to go pee. My daughter is now taking her nap and I don't know what to do with my life. She's down for a nap. The house is clean and I just don't know what to do. So I'm, I'm sitting here in my closet. Uh, just jotting things down in my notebook and my planner trying to stay organized trying to stay on track for my um, health goals this year I am keeping myself holding myself accountable this year because 2022 I told myself I was gonna stay I was gonna hold myself accountable and lose the weight and be more active and be more healthy blah 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 never did um, I did manage to lose 50 pounds 50 teen pounds so that's a plus but this year i want to be out of the obese category and in order to do that i have a lot of work to put in um in order to do that i have about 50 ish more or less pounds to lose in order to be out of the obese category i think 50 pounds what um, i don't know i have to check again i forgot but uh i think i had a healthy weight for me has to be like 140 
ish to 150 if I'm not mistaken and I am at 195 it just depends on everybody everybody's different it's all based on height and age I am 5'1 and I am 23 so I have to be like 150 ish I think um so that's the goal I no longer want to be obese okay um yeah it feels it's a shitty it feels it's so shitty feeling I feel like yucky I feel like I'm always out of breath and I hate that I'm always out of breath and that I have no energy and I just hate the clothes that I wear because that's what I feel most com like comfortable and I don't feel confident in anything I wear but what I wear just makes me feel comfortable and that sucks because when I was a couple pounds lighter um, my stomach was a little bit more uniformed I used to wear crop tops and you know try to look cute all the time but now this like now with my body now all I want to do is just hide my stomach as much as possible because I hate it so I definitely want to hold myself accountable this year um I think I want to try to go to school or a trade school or something to do um I want to I've been wanting to do sonography so I and the thing is I've already applied to a school before I think last year and I got accepted but my daughter was only a couple months old and it really couldn't be done so I backed out and um yeah she's pretty big now she's almost two so I think I want to do I want to give school another shot but I still don't know like it's so hard I don't know because I've considered real estate, I've considered um, sonography, I've considered midwives, I've considered nursing, and I just don't know what path is the right path, I don't know what to do. I want my YouTube channel to take off, because I love YouTube, you know, um, it's just so fun and so therapeutic to do this, like make videos, and also for my daughter. Um, I was watching like I think it's just so nice to make videos because I, I started making videos back in 2019 and I'm so glad that I did because now when I look back it's just they're just so like they're just beautiful memories to have so I really wish you know it can really take off for me because that would open up a lot of doors of possibilities for me and living paycheck to paycheck and being a stay-at-home mom and only having one income between Rigo and I, I definitely need more open doors of possibilities so we can get out of this hole that I feel like we're sinking deeper and deeper. But, yeah, I don't know what to do right now. I think I'm just going to watch TikTok, honestly. I have a really bad ringing in my ear. That's why I paused. Okay. Honestly, you guys, I think I'm going to end the video. And now, um, I really enjoy making videos, even though my days are pretty uneventful, just like today. Um, I don't know why I just decided to pick up the camera and get going, but yeah i felt motivated today ish i think maybe because i woke up early my days have been starting lately at 10 a.m um because my daughter has been sleeping on her own time but thankfully i don't work so i can wake up i mean stay awake until she needs to and wake up when she does and you know just be for her here but yeah this is basically just a basic normal day in my life and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys like comment share subscribe and I'm ugh, I got stuck there for a second and stay tuned for more videos hopefully more upbeat videos but even then you're gonna get one of these every now and then, then. every now and again hello can I speak English Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.